before we get started on anything else, right to jail. Oh no, what did we do? <laughs> Remember that guy from Parks and Rec? He was played by, I forget the guy on Saturday Night Live who plays it, but he's like the undercooked fish, right to jail. He's like from Venezuela or something. Oh, Overcooked oh. chicken, believe it or not, right to jail. I do know the guy. I don't know his name, but I know his face. We're going to go right to jail on this mm-hmm. one, if you've seen that meme, um, and even if you haven't. Because a few, several episodes ago, I mentioned that I had been in the Slammer once in my life. Yes! Our buddy from Rhode Island, more buff, more muff, commented, Mike, I knew you were a real one. <laughs> it's your time, buddy. <laughs> what did you do time for? I said, I'll tell the story, story someday. Well, someday has arrived. Merry Christmas to you, more buff, <laughs> more buff, whatever. This might dredge up some childhood trauma of mine, but I'm going to go ahead and tell it to you anyway. Mm-hmm. This happened when I was a minor, so I was uh, 17 at the time, mm. and I... Well, I, I'm not going to say I was a troubled child, Carly, but I did go to a parochial school as mm-hmm. a child. That's a church school. Yeah. I got a great education, but I learned zero social skills. Right. I'm great. I wouldn't change a thing about my past because it's made me the person I am today, and I like me. I like you too. I think I'm okay. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I did have a hard time sort of going from a class of eight people to a school with 800 people in mm-hmm. it. And so I got kicked out of public school and sent back to private school. Really? What did yeah. you get kicked out for? Fighting. Oh, yeah. That doesn't surprise me. I got bullied. Mm-hmm. And then I got bullied again. I got bullied a third time. And I finally fought back. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know what else to do. Parents try to give advice like, um, oh, just ignore the bully and he'll go away. Make it seem like what they're saying isn't important to you and then they'll stop doing it. They didn't stop doing it. No, and they don't. Kids don't work that way. are ruthless and relentless. Mm -hmm. So finally, I spoke to him in the only language he could understand. Mm -hmm. Gave him a knuckle sandwich. (laughs) Whatever. Right. So my parents were like, okay, yikes, let's put him back in. Private school, essentially, is what it was. Mm -hmm. It's one here in town. You can go, you can drive by it on West Broadway right before Bellin if you're heading west, Gethsemane, which, as I understand, some parents back in the day called Get Some Money because it was so expensive. (laughs) Yeah, that sounds about right. (laughs) I I actually revisited with an old school buddy last Mm -hmm. summer. We met their new pastor. I believe his name is Jason Bell. Really nice friendly, warm, welcoming guy. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So so that's, you know, there's no, all that's in the past. Mm -hmm. But I think when I went back to parochial school, church school, private school, I did have a little chip on my shoulder at that point. Mm -hmm. You know, I I don't think, I don't shy away from conflict, but when it presents itself, you know, I'll meet it head on. Right. And not violently. You just don't beat around the bush. Right. yeah. Yeah. You know, it's sort of like you and I have, uh, people have commented on um, some of our shows saying he's off putting. Mm-hmm. And what they don't realize is you and I are both blunt objects. Oh, yeah. We speak at the speed of reality. Yes, I agree. And sometimes when people who have feelings wonder if we're hurting the other person's or disregarding the other person's feelings, boy, we're way off in the weeds here. <laughs> Let me reel it back in. So I go back to parochial school, may have had a chip on my shoulder, Mm -hmm. and some teacher said something I didn't like, and I said something back that was bad enough (laughs) to have a come to Jesus meeting, Uh (laughs) perhaps literally. Funny. And and the school said, hey, look, Mike, we'll let you finish out this school year, but you got to do it at home. Really? And I said, okay. Yeah, I mean, that, that kind of sounds awesome to me. Right? Yeah. Oh, what punishment. <laughs> there was like a couple months left. Yeah. It's like eight weeks left. Yeah. So I went and did all the work and took all the tests in like eight days. Because of course you did. Yeah. And, and so my parents were like, well, okay, but you have to stay in your room for the entire time that you would have, you would normally be at school. Right. They're... Trying to punish you. Right. I get yeah. it. And, and that's cool. I mean, it makes sense in the long run because, yeah, you did do something wrong. You do need to face consequences. But it also sounds like there were some issues that weren't actually addressed by the adults who were supposed to. Right. Okay. One day, two or three weeks in, I was calling to my mom for a, uh, a glass of water. Mm-hmm. 
and um, the 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 for whatever reason the bathroom sink water wasn't as good as the kitchen water. Uh-huh. Like it was noticeably. Ugh. You weren't even allowed to go get water. I wasn't allowed. I was allowed to. I had an, a bathroom adjacent to my bedroom. Okay. But I wasn't allowed to go upstairs to the kitchen. That seems dumb. Well, kind of. What if you just wanted a little snack? That was their rules. Whatever. It was pretty strict. And I've since talked to a few kids. Mm-hmm. We all went there. Somebody should write a book about it. Yeah. And um, it, it was pretty strict. It was. Yeah. They were stricter than they needed to be. So, <laughs> mom, mom, my mom was on the phone, I guess. Now, I always made the joke in my mind. I don't think I ever told her. When you die, I'm going to picture you on the phone. <laughs> you know? Right. That's yeah, going to be. I think you've mentioned before that she was just always on the phone. That should be the photo at her wake <laughs> is her on the phone. <laughs> well, she's dead. <laughs> and I still picture her on the phone. In fact, she's she a died lady. almost exactly two years ago, uh, mm-hmm. December 10th, 2021. And rest in peace, mom. I love you. And we and we also talked at the speed of reality, her yeah. and I. It was great. I I loved and still love my mom. Yeah. Okay. Go upstairs for a glass of water because I'm like, screw this, man. I'm just going to get the job done. Went up there. She's on the phone. Hey, I thought you were supposed to be in your room. I'm like, well, fudge, mom. Only you. Only I didn't say fudge. <laughs> Isn't that a Christmas movie quote? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said the word, the uh-huh. big one, the queen mother, the F dash 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 word. Oh, no. And Mike, go to your room. So I went back to my room. Did you get your water at least? I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Good. I did. It was great water. <laughs> Good. We do have fantastic water here in Idaho Falls. Yes, we really do. I think Iona's got the best I was going to say, not quite as good as Iona, but pretty good. Where you grew up. Yeah. Certainly better than LA water. Well, my parents had <laughs> another come to Jesus meeting that night, and uh, I was invited. And mm-hmm. <laughs> they decided, apparently, I, maybe I had more of a chip on my shoulder than I thought I did. They Or they were stricter than they should have been. Right. I'm not sure even to this day. So they decided to invite a police officer over to the home and press charges. You might be thinking, what charges? Right. Apparently, Carly, at that point in time, it was a misdemeanor to use foul or obscene language in front of women and children. Well, you know, because if you do, our uteruses will fall out of our bodies and we'll die. Think of the women and children, won't you? Yeah. So long story short, too late. (laughs) I I went to court. They made me take some sort of a test to determine, you know, whether I was psychotic or not. Whoa. This this is really silly because I I know a lot of people know me and go, you got to be kidding me, Mike. I know a lot of people haven't heard this story. (laughs) That's so funny. (laughs) And... Uh, I, I, I gave smart ass answers on the test. (laughs) Of course you did. You know? Yeah, that sounds like you. Because, you know, what's, what's the, um, you know, nothing will break me quote that my son actually has it tattooed on his back, but I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let this. Right. I'm going to be me. Yeah. You know? So I sat in front of the judge at sentencing for this sham trial and she said mike the world hates a smart ass now think about the world we live in today who's running it smart asses N- all smart asses right nobody is not a smart ass well and realistically you watch at the end of the day to sitcoms be- yeah well and to be a smart ass you have to have wit and i'm sure that throwing out the f-bomb is not uh, necessarily witty, but uh, you have to have a little more content than that. But right. sometimes it helps. Right. Sometimes it just f***ing helps. It does. <laughs> it does. You know, I really believe that diction is an important thing. And sometimes there are words that cannot convey the idea better than cuss words. Now, I, I taught my son, listen, be careful what language you use in life because people might make assumptions about your intelligence. Right. But I know plenty of people... Who use naughty words mm-hmm. 
um, who are smart. You know, I actually read a study once, if I'm remembering it correctly, that basically said that people who tend to cuss more often also tend to be more intelligent. I've seen that too, and I don't know what to make of it, because yeah. I also know plenty of intelligent people who choose not to. Right. That said, I was thrown in the slammer for, <laughs> um, they're right there at the Bonneville County Courthouse, kids. Yeah. Uh, and ironically, this was three months before Idaho passed a no minors in jail for misdemeanors law. Ugh, so you just missed it by a hair. Again, <laughs> I like myself now. I don't regret any of my past. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think maybe that scared, scared me straight a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I remember going into jail. You know, they strip you, strip your identity. And um, you're wearing orange Robert Downey Jr. Uh -huh. courtroom. <laughs> what uh, like what do the nurses the, wear? Uh, oh, scrubs. Scrubs. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Orange scrubs. Mm -hmm. And I'm in there with three other dudes, all about my age. Uh huh. And I'm like, so what do you guys do here in prison? <laughs> That's so funny. They, I didn't understand the distinction between jail and prison. In fact, we still don't because. We were talking about Christopher Tapp a couple of weeks ago, rest in peace. Uh -huh. And I called it jail, but in fact, he was, was in prison. Yeah. Prison. So I still get them mixed up. It just happens. Thank and goodness. It, yeah. Thank goodness I don't know those distinctions. Right, right. But I think the moral of the story is, and that's how I got to where I am today. Right. Being a smart ass. You know, I cussed at my mom once. You did? It ended up so differently than yours. Okay, I, I want to hear this, but I want to say real quick mm -hmm. that I think maybe that was a good thing that I was thrown in jail for three. Oh, yeah. It was three days over 4th of July weekend. Oh. So you missed the fireworks? I missed the, yeah, I missed the oh, fireworks. That, that's a bunch of crap. They weren't as cool as they are now, nowadays. Right, right. Um, but um, there aren't very pleasant individuals there. That's shocking. And- like, I would have never guessed. You smell poop all the time. Ew. Because somebody's always going. Oh. And you're in a, you know, there's no doors on the bathroom. Right. You're trying to sleep, you smell poop. Yeah. You're trying to eat, you smell poop. It's just yeah, gross. that is gross. It's really gross. Yeah. You got to shower with other dudes. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> unpleasant. It was just unpleasant. Yeah. See, at least if I went to jail, I'd be fine because girls don't poop. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Uh.